Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Garb Experiment. It has been a very long time since I last uploaded guys um, and we are going to change the format slightly or frequency of uploading videos. I'm going to change it from now on just for a little while um, possibly to Friday, Saturday, Sunday instead of daily uploads guys because I think it's going to be a lot more manageable. Um, and it should make, hopefully, for more quality videos, guys. But let's get into this. We've got a new game. Jurassic World Evolution 2. Jurassic World. This, this is where our story begins. A scientific breakthrough without any consideration of the consequences. So nature did what it does and unleashed chaos. This time, we were deeper into the illusion of control and the chaos. But something much worse. And for a moment, we remembered how precious life is. But time has a funny way of softening our memory of what it's like to lose control. And ambition. Ambition is a persistent thing. When the dinosaur is left behind, time was becoming immaterial. From miracles of science to assets destined for exploitation. Perhaps it's time we reflect on the true nature of nature. An endless cycle with one goal, survival. This means that dinosaurs and humanity will have to find a way to work out their differences. To us, a desert is a wasteland, devoid of anything but the most extreme examples of life. But creatures once thrived in these lands hundreds of millions of years ago. Given the geological history that we're dealing with, dinosaurs walking among the tumbleweeds isn't that much of a stretch. The current situation, where dinosaurs are running wild, is untenable to those in charge, well, those that think they're in charge. So we're left with a problem or an opportunity. This is where you come in. They've ignored my warnings before, but maybe this time with you, it's going to be different. I'm willing to embrace the uncertainty. Okay, then we're starting off in Arizona. Okay, I guess an introduction is in order. I'm Cabot Finch, Assistant Director of the U.S. Department of Fish and Wildlife. I know it sounds important, because it is. <laughs> but let's not get bogged down in labels and titles and organizational flowcharts. I'll make this easy. You work for me. See, nothing to it. <laughs> You'll be working with the experts. This is Claire Deering and Owen Grady. And yes, we have first-hand experience with the dinosaurs. I'm the former operations manager at Jurassic World. Owen and I actually helped build the park. And unfortunately, we were there to witness its destruction. And this is Owen. He works with velociraptors. You could call me a dinosaur wrangler, though officially I'm an animal behaviorist. I was just building a level of trust with them when this happens. Okay, so we'll need to get a few things in place ASAP. Start with a response facility, equipped with both a ranger team 4x4 and a capture team helicopter. Okay then. So very similar to the first one. Get back into all the controls again. All right, operations, response facility. So last time it was two separate buildings, but this one is um, a combined building. And now we have no power. Fantastic. We are making excellent progress, so let's stay focused. Next step, building a backup generator, then feeding the energy it creates to the response facility. And also, make sure the building is connected to the PATH network. 
It only does us good if it's operational. Okay, there we go. Um, connect responsibility of path. Yeah, we've done that. Right, locate and tranquilize nearby have wild. this dinosaur from the ground, and even more trouble if we're lucky enough to find it. Then the sensible thing is to take a capture team helicopter. You can trank it from the air. See, I like the way I think. Hmm. Okay then. Helicopter over here. Well, let's take the helicopter over here. Sorry. Yep, I know that. And then we're gonna aim. And then we're gonna hopefully tranquilize the dinosaur. Can I get a better zoom on that? Left bumper is zoom. I'll zoom. Yeah, I, I forgot this got a drop on it. Right, let's go back. We're flying closer first. No problem. Is it upsets them sometimes? Let's bring it down. Oh, yeah, that's why you can't use right bump. You've got to use the bumpers to use the tranquilizer because you can't use the triggers because that is how okay we're a lot closer than i thought i <laughs> still missed there we go now it's gonna run so hopefully oh, 68 percent so i need to get another one in it there we go and that's 100 percent perfect clear this is owen i copy you we have it Capture successful. I knew you'd do it. Never had a doubt. Really? Well, maybe one or two. Well, it's better than usual. I'll take it. All right, let's transport. Now, where do we take this dinosaur? We have the enclosure. We just need you to deliver. Hey, don't I always? Wait, uh, you don't there have we to go. answer that. Let's get this dinosaur delivered and into the enclosure then. So we've got time controls. So we go fast forward to get that dinosaur John in Hammond quick. John was concerned about what would happen if dinosaurs lived in the wild. It adds a whole new level of challenge and perhaps opportunity. Right, is there any more dinosaurs? Because I didn't see another dinosaur. Is that the same one that I saw when we was waiting? I think it was. Transportation complete. There we go. Sure is safely enclosed. It is. Oof, I instantly recognize this dinosaur. Kind of hard to forget once you've been trapped in a room with one. We couldn't save that Baryonyx, but we can certainly help this one. All right, so it's a Baryonyx. Requires status check. There's not a lot out there for the dinosaur to consume, so we'll need a feeder inside the perimeter of that enclosure. Hungry dinosaurs make me nervous. Can't disagree with you there. Right, so we want... A feeder. No, that's a fish one. Oh, do we not have any other feeders? Oh, it is... Oh, okay, so it does eat fish then. There we go. Yeah, and sure, can, yeah, it can access it. Good right. to go on this end. Copy. Okay. We need to get a full assessment of the dinosaur's health. Utilize a ranger team vehicle. Owen okay, will then. help you get a status of the animal's overall welfare. Then we can plan our next move. We really need that? A plan? I mean, I've always been more of a just make it up as I go kind of guy. Tell you what. If this doesn't work, we'll try your way. Hmm, that sort of sounds like a plan. Okay, so we've got to perform, yeah, status checks now, so that's a new thing. We've completed our check. While we can't replicate what we had on the islands, we still have to do what we can to get the dinosaurs more comfortable with their current surroundings All here right, then. in Arizona. Let's head out. Sunscreen and drinks by the pool? How's that sound? Are you seriously asking? Or pretend asking? 
Okay, Claire, how about we add some preferred terrain to their pens instead? Better? All right, so we've got Ensure has got 95% comfort. Missing rock. Okay. So there's a more, more in-depth detail on uh, comfort, I guess, and stuff compared to the first one. Okay, it's not decorations then, so would it be under environment then? Yeah, it was, because it's rocks. Who you put a big rock in? Put one there. I mean, it's already got a few rocks in here. Who had some in the water? Okay, where'd it go? Uh, there it is. 95%. Perfect. Job done. And it should be happy. We've got to monitor these dinosaurs more closely. That means setting up a ranger post inside their enclosure. It sounds crazy, I know, but this will work. Trust me. Okay, we're setting up a ranger post then. Well, it's got a really good range on it, though. So I go... Should I go here? Because then that'll get the one behind it as well. Now, there's only a tiny little corner up there. All right, then. No teams assigned. So how do we assign that? Construct a ranger post from the enclosure. Right, add task. What do I do? Select a ranger team within the response facility and add task to assign the patrol to the ranger. Okay. Assign the post then. I'm getting reports of dinosaurs running freely around the facility, Claire. The reports may be accurate, but they don't paint a complete picture of our current status. Angry dinosaurs on the loose. What am I missing? They're not angry. They're simply acting on instincts. Where? The threat the dinosaurs feel, the more hostile they'll become. Especially if they sense survival is at stake. But it is. Both theirs and ours. Yeah. But only we know that. Well, for now, anyway. We'll start by tranquilizing one of the dinosaurs from the helicopter. And then have a transport team bring it back to the facility. Great. Do it. Okay, then. So we've got some Triceratops. So let's go find and locate them. So I like this, because you're not just then making them yourself. or um, Yeah, creating them through DNA, genetics, and all that sort of stuff like you did in the first one. We're actually, obviously, because a lot of them broke out or got free because of the, the disaster. We've got a lot about... Um, so we're just going to have to, yeah, do this. Locate them, tranquilize them. Let's get a double hit on that, because big dinosaur. So, get all three of them. I mean... Oh, okay. Stand still. Did I get a double hit on that? I did. Okay. Enclosures. Why is it one why is it tagging that up? Oh, construct a new enclosure. Okay. That's why it's tagging that one up. So I guess fences. We've got a gate or a small electrified fence. I mean, we've got a lot of money, so might as well make them a decent size. Although, how much can I actually build in? Although that is not straight already. I mean, I could always toggle curved as well. Let's 
go straight for now. We'll just make a standard box over here. I say standard box and it's not a box. Right, there we go. We're doing okay for power-wise. May have to bring in a new one. Right, let's get these guys transported over. And then we will look into um, what they require. Okay then, there we go. So we need to do a status check on all of them. So let's get our ranger team out. Let's go have a look and see what they require. Overall, I'd say our operations are improving. I'm confident we may get a handle on this yet. But I'm also concerned, specifically about our biodiversity. Still, for now, let's focus on getting the dinosaurs safe and secure, as well as building some additional viewing galleries the DFW staff can use to monitor the animals. Okay, territory. Dinosaurs of the same species form a territory around them as they move. Dinosaurs only consider area inside their territory when determining their comfort level. Territory that is not frequent visibility shrinks over time to match the latest changes to the dinosaur's environment. Okay. Check complete. Asset status. Oh. Careful, guys. Right, so we need to make them happier. Missing ground fiber. Okay, research viewing gallery. I guess we'll stick one there. Right, I need to put some ground fiber then. What will be classed as ground fiber? Nature, leafy climbers, fibrous ground cover. I also need to put in some water as well. I'm spending a hell of a lot of money right now, but at least then they should be comfortable in their enclosure and less likely to try to escape. Do not need that. Right, let's add some water. Uh, let's go over in this corner here. Nice big puddle for them. Comfort, 100%. Right, then we need to connect this with a path. And then we need to build another one because they need to be invisible to it well we need one in each one so that they can see them although i don't think yes that is just going to be enough the problem is i'm going to have to bring a path all the way out here and power as well i wonder if i can build a power station out here Oh no, it should work because it's connected to the fence. There we go. Don't need to build it. With All so connected many of the and sorted. Running free, our priority has to be capturing as many of them as possible. We can coordinate our efforts from an expedition center. Get one built and we'll take it from there. Okay. I thought we already have one over here. Is that not an expedition center? What is that place then? No idea, but okay, well, I guess we're going to build one then. Do you not need to build power lines in this? Ah, uh, let's build it. See, I don't like when it had it, um, told you, well, where to build stuff at the start, because now it's really far away from the path, and i got a silly little gap there. Who are these? All of the same person. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, what's this helicopter doing? No idea. Right, well, Expedition Center is being built. We've got five seconds left on that. So how do we get more of the same dinosaur? Can we actually get dinosaurs then? Or not? I'll be able to track the dinosaurs, but some help would sure be appreciated. Claire tells me there are some candidates to recruit. Scientists. Hopefully you can find one as rough and tumble as I am. 
Okay. Right, so we can't do any expeditions right now then. So I might be... Control center. Expedition. Okay, scientists. Scientists are key members of staff needed to perform specialist tasks. Uh, browse and recruit page. Yep. And scientists have type skills of logistics, genetics, and welfare. Each task, skilled requirement. Yep, okay. Right, control center this. View scientists then. See who we have to choose from. So we've got three scientists here. They all seem fairly similar, apart from the first two have nothing on genetics. So I might go for the third one. Although that one cost 12,000 per minute. That's a lot of money. Right, let's go for that one. You seeing this, Claire? Yeah, I sure am. This is our first live capture opportunity. Let's not miss it. We should assign that scientist you just hired to the task. Agreed? Oh. How do I do Helen? that? You there? I think you're still muted. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, good idea. Uh, what do we got to lose? You know, except the, maybe a new recruit. Okay, maybe do I do go over to here. Incident alert. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, so this is what I gotta do. A stegosaurus in Las Vegas. Before oh. the remote capture teams return, we should have enclosures ready for the dinosaurs. Think of it as welcoming them back home. Okay then. Right, I'm going to get built in whilst we wait for that to come back then. Okay, live captures. Got four of four captured. Give me, yeah, give me two minutes. I just need to get power back up and running because I lost power obviously building that one over there. Alright, power restored. Okay, so I don't probably need that big of an enclosure. The idea was I was going to split it in half anyway. We've got a little bit more room out the back here to build one more enclosure, possibly, and I don't think we'll get one in there. All right, let's put gates on. Okay, that should be good. I don't know if these guys need trees or anything, but they're good. Apparently, 100%, 100% food, water, and everything. Security rating 4. I don't know whether I should put the um, a feeder down. Is this... This is still in range, I think. Just. We could do with another one, I guess. But then we're going to need some more ranger teams anyway. Oh, we don't have any more skins. Okay, well, we'll just wait for the Stegosaurus to come in, and then we can check them out and see what they require. And here we go, then. The Stegosaurus have arrived. So let's check them out. Acid check complete. Not quite close enough to those of one. Check complete. Acid has been checked. And there we go. All checked, so we can see what they were. Okay. Want some ground fruit. Who? I'm not following you, Owen. Well, it's just like the dinosaurs are always watching us. So shouldn't we be watching them? Yes, we should. Once okay. we have the dinosaurs comfortably settled into their enclosures, we'll need viewing galleries. That's what I'm right. saying. Only ground fruit. Alright, let's make this nice and nice for them so they don't want to escape. I think that should be enough ground fruit for them. Of course, we've got to add some water in. What are the contour lines for? Oh, it, oh, it shows the, um, yeah, the way the ground is. So let's go, let's build a bit of a puddle here. Again, that should be enough. Sure, the Stegosauruses have 90% comfort. Missing open space. Oh, did I put too much... Did I put too much um, stuff down? 
Is that better for you guys? And that is. Perfect. So they just wanted a bit of free space. So there was nothing there. Okay. Sure, Stegosaurus's research platform. So where is before we were all about getting people happy and everything? Now it's all about the research, I think. I think we've learned from our mistakes as the the first couple of parks where everything just went wrong and people got injured and now we're just purely trying to look to research the dinosaurs and understand them, I guess. All right, then we can speed that up now because I think we're all good. All the dinosaurs are visible. Weather warning received. Oh, not good. Owen. Owen. We have a real problem. I'm trying, Clara, but it's just... Well, this is who I am. Not you. Storm. Uh, the dinosaurs. Tell me something I don't know. Okay, how about this? There's a massive sandstorm headed our way, and it could wipe out the facility. Without power, the safety of the dinosaurs could be at serious risk. Okay. Listen to me, Claire. We'll figure this out. Have I ever let you down before? Actually, no. And I'm planning on keeping it that way. Everything we can do, we will do. We've survived worse. What's a little sand? Uh, quite bad, maybe? Can I not put anything down apart from emergency shelter? Oh. Dinosaur. Oh no. Okay, add task. Repair the fence. Well, at least it's just running away. I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty concerned about our current situation. As much as I'd obviously love to help out, I'm a little tied up. So, who's gonna protect the dinosaurs? And our personnel. Right. Yes, of course. I mean, I'm on it. That goes without saying. I'm saying it anyway. It's just, it would be a tragedy to lose these animals again. And by tragedy, I mean huge financial loss. And obviously an embarrassment to those in charge of the DFW. People such as you? Uh, well, actually, exactly me. So, how do we avoid that? Okay, step one. Round up the stragglers and get all the dinosaurs back into their enclosures. Then we'll work on our safety ratings. Already done it. Yes, this is a plan I can support now and take credit for later. <laughs> right, yeah, so I've just opened my first emergency shelter. Obviously, we've tranquilized. And we're transporting the dinosaur back in. And we fixed the fence. Yeah, we remember all of this one from the first one. Is very similar on that aspect. So yeah, I got my first emergency shelter coverage. Zero percent, it said. All right, I'm gonna. Do I build another shelter up here? I mean, this is only our first world anyway, or place. It's not very big, so I assume once we're done here, we'll move on. All right, dinosaurs going back in. Perfect. And there we go. First mission complete, guys. Arizona was secure. The dinosaurs were safe. Finch and the DFW had what they needed to keep the bureaucrats off our backs. For now. But the future? That was something completely different. I wish we'd had more time to brief you, but as you know, the situation is fluid. Our Canadian friends are concerned that many of these wild animals are getting close to their border. We'd like to prevent them from crossing it. We being the CIA. My division is the DSD, Dangerous Species Division. I'm Dr. Dua. I have an extensive background in paleo research in this very field. At Jurassic World, and now... Other locations I'm not at liberty to discuss. However, I have history with many of the people involved here. A poacher camp. What remains of it, anyway? Amateurs. 
They only succeeded in getting themselves and others killed. And making our job that much more difficult. Okay then. So it looks like we've got ourselves... The dinosaurs are still agitated. Tranquilizing them would appear to be the best option at this point. Let's do it as safely and quickly as we can. Yes, we've got ourselves a new place and we're going to have to um, tranquilize them. Yeah, I know all this. Yeah, we're going to have to tranquilize them and then capture them and build ourselves a facility here by looks things. But we're going to leave that episode there, guys. I'm just going to pause this so the dinosaurs don't get too upset with me whilst I'm just hovering above them. But yeah. Glad to be back, guys. We're going to yeah, stick with, I think, just the weekend videos for a little bit. Get some content back out there. Enjoy making videos again. And as always, guys, if you are enjoying this, make sure you hit the like button. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified when I upload the next episode. Thanks, guys, for watching.